Okay, so that last hour, that last like like last 20 minutes of that episode, not even going to take the blame for that because what I read in the book was supposed to instigate something that the game once again didn't instigate, just like that person I was supposed to be able to sell shit to in the Imperial City. So, fuck you, Oblivion. Alright, continuing. I gotta find the guy's house again, which I don't have a marker to because they didn't activate the quest. I gotta go talk to that guy. This game... Okay, let me pull this up again. Um, where was it? It was something with Orin. I Like, something when I was like in the other castle trying to sell shit to Orin. Like, something from a quest that I did a while ago popped up. So annoying. I'm aware that this is a buggy game. I was aware it's a buggy game going into it. But oh my god, that is so infuriating. Fucking broken game. Chris, are you still there? Uh-oh. I don't hear Chris. I guess Chris... I guess Chris really won't be in this one. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I don't know if you said anything during that first two minutes of me ranting, but... Oh, you're ranting? Yeah. Oh, well, um... So, I guess we must have cut out, because I heard absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, I was bitching, like, bitching up a storm. You, you, this is off of a record, right? No, I'm recording right now. Oh, no, I'm just making... I just wanted to make sure that we're recording, because I didn't yeah. want to, like... <laughs> do you want me... Do If I, I can go off record for a minute, if you want to talk about something. No, 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 no. I was just making sure we're recording, because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Uh... So what, 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 what was, you know what, I can guess what the rant was about, never mind, I'm good, I'm good. You heard, a, you heard me rant about it a little bit before I started the recording. So did it solve itself or no? Uh, no, I have to do something myself because the game won't do it for me. I'm trying to find this person's fucking house again, but I can't find it. And I thought it was right over here. But it's not, it's not doing a marker for me like it's supposed to, because it's supposed to... Whew, it's supposed to initiate something and it's not doing that. Okay, I'm gonna wait Sounds an hour. Jet, dude. Jeez, okay. There, I read the book, can you please fuck- Mmm, this is so annoying. So fucking annoying. So I don't want to sound like an asshole. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole. But, I love how you said that this is the game you loved, right? I do love this game, but there's bullshit in it. <laughs> it's- it's, I'm not trying to dish you, I'm just saying, I love how you, you must have chosen right the first time you played the game. <laughs> because this character sounds like garbage. Oh, I mean, the character, Beakles doesn't help things, per se. I am sorry, what did you say? I said Beakles doesn't help things, per se, Beakles? but, yeah, it's our character. You come into my house, you talk shit about my child. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never heard the name. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the ser this entire series is going to be labeled The Legend of Beacles. <laughs> oh my god. Elder Scrolls Beacles. The Legend of Beacles. No, you know what? You know what? I, it, 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 there's there's certain things on YouTube I wish were popular, and I I really wish Beakles was popular just so you could like get them, in like the next Elder Scrolls game. We gotta make Beakles plushies. You, you yeah. Do you know what her face looks like? Yes, I I uh, I never knew the name, but I I, I remember you, you guys posted it in the chat. So yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you you got you at least got a visual reference. Yeah. That's that's good. That's important. Where the fuck was this person's house again? Jeez. Oh man, I'm fucking tired. Am I in the marketing Dang. district? No, I'm not. God fucking damn it, where's this fucking asshole? <sighs> Imperial City... Uh, I can't... Mm, now I'm just trying to find this fucking person's house. I'm so fucking tired of this. This is fucking infuriating. Uh, Spring Hill, Spring Hill Jack's house. God, is that what you're looking for? no, I'm looking for Jack Burns' house. It's just where the <laughs> fuck is the fucking house? Hi there. 
Talos Plaza District. That's where... Is that... That's where I am right now, right? No, I'm in the Temple District. Um, this might be my last episode, dude. <laughs> uh, will it really? Uh, not, not, not trying to be like. I mean, my last episode for tonight. I am dying. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, no. That's fine. You can, even if you wanted to like leave before the episode was over, that's okay. No, I need to. I need to see this through. I just don't want to like pass out in the next episode. You'll just hear me. <laughs> I feel like this episode is just uh, me me being quiet, quietly listening to you try to find a guy's house. What am I doing wrong right there? Jesus fucking Christ. I'm retarded. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. I was, like, not looking in the right place this entire time. I probably can still find that corpse over here. Oh, my God. I, I kept... How... I kept I thinking... How... Of... Go ahead. I love how we can't say that word anymore. I don't... I don't know. I've been cutting down on it. I just... I know I just said oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not gonna stop you. I'm just saying. I, I know a lot of people freak out about it. Yeah. Oh. Well, Jack Ben is dead. And he has the boots. So, I guess... I guess it worked out. Am I over encumbered from doing that? I'm over encumbered. Uh, what if I just drop? What if I just take my own armor off? No, okay, that works. <laughs> I heard you so wrong. I thought you just said, "What if I take my arm off?" <laughs> <laughs> and we got a nice sword here. Ha <laughs> ha! It's an enchanted sword. Um, I'll worry about oh, clothes. Man. I'll worry about clothes later. It's time to go to Shandell. Were we talking about something so that it doesn't just become a... Uh, yeah. ...listens to Michael talk about Elder Scrolls? <laughs> well, what do you want to talk about? I don't know, I just said, I thought we were talking about... Oh, you said you wanted to say some shit about Family Guy. Um... I said that I could have more to talk about it, but do you have any questions or anything specific you want to talk about? I personally feel that before it got cancelled the first time, it was a fine show, nothing special... Nothing bad. Uh, well, like, it, yeah, it was fine. It was just... Um, is there anything you uh, you would like to talk about it specifically? Oh, hell no. I just thought that you had something. That's why. I mean, I can talk about Family Guy forever. I can talk about these adult cartoons forever. Hold on, I gotta speak for the Grey <laughs> I gotta speak for the Grey Fox. I'm sorry. It's cool. I assume you found spring Jack's tomb. Do you have the boots? Capital, this may be the last piece of the puzzle. I need to spend more time with Sevilla's stone first. I am truly indebted to you. If all goes well, I may call upon you for one last task. The danger will be great, but the reward will be greater. For now, here is your reward. Let us leave house and go our separate ways. We have overstayed our welcome. So I have to do one more quest. I have to, like, steal more shit and then do one more quest, I think. Grey Fox will be contacting me soon. Until then, I have to sell 1,000 gold worth of goods. Okay, let's go steal shit. Okay, but question about this game. Go ahead. Well, not even about this game, about this process. You know you could, like, edit his voice? Like, like you could just record it, like, separately? You are right. I just, I was just saying, you know, like, <laughs> more or less of asking, why don't you just do that? Because... I don't feel like it. Alright, anyways, moving forward. What the fuck? Oh, I'm not trying to, like, step on your parade, I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to listen to that voice anymore. Luckless Lucina. I love how that luckless is. Is that her, like, official first name? Luckless. Sure. Luckless Apparently. Lucina. It's pretty great. I like that name. Alright, go ahead. What were you going to say before, Chris, before I rudely cut you oh, off again? Did you just call me Christopher? <laughs> no, I said... Oh. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not... I'm sorry. I am tired, so I hear shit. Mm -hmm. I, I hear voices. I hear voices. Oh, 
crisis in my head. Yeah, it's all side at you. And Magic Chan. Michael, I have, a, I have a confession. I'm I'm, I'm Chris Chan. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? Oh, well, I'm fine. That was a pretty good facade you put on all these years, pretending to be a black guy named Chris Bonite. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm working on it. Cool. I gotta say, your Chris Chan impression's worse than your Chris Bonite impression. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> Let's just save before we do this. Because we gotta steal from someone else's house again. In, in all realness, I... I have spent... If, if, if I could make money off of the time that I spent on Christian, I'd be the richest fucking man in the universe. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I spent a fair amount of time looking into Chris Chan, watching the documentary series, listening to the Casey's father phone call over and over again. See, see, see I've been, uh, I've, I have had, I, I need help. I, I don't want to talk to a therapist about it because that, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with therapy, but I need some straight up help, dude, when it comes to Chris Chan. Because I've watched so much shit that I am so invested in this in this person's life that, that I think I need help. <laughs> that I'm not living my own life. I am. I'm living. I am Christian. I am Christian. I am the dimensional merge. I want to be him. Say what? I want to be him. That's you speaking, by I the way. I am Christian. I am the true and original Christian Weston Chandler. I am the true and honest. <clears throat> yeah, a very, you know, very, very fascinating fella, that Christian. Well, see, see, I was watching this one guy Gibby's videos. Who? Uh, Gibby. Oh, for Mike Harley? No, uh, there's uh, a YouTuber that, that that calls himself Gibby, and he follows Chris Chan's tweets. Got it. And I've listened to those, and I I feel like I feel like I'd be a lot happier person if I didn't know about Chris Chan. <laughs> I'd be a better father. <laughs> <laughs> Christian is like the ultimate precautionary tale, though. Oh, it is. It's just, it's like, it's, it is crazy. Christian is, for, I mean, how, how much do you know about him now? I know a fair amount about, uh, Chris. Um, yeah, according to some people, he's called a cult. I don't think, I don't think anybody truly believes in his dimensional merge. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I, I wouldn't call it a cool, I don't even know if Chris actually believes it or not, or if he's doing it for attention, but it's hard to say. I, I, I think that there's a great chance that he legitimately believes it all now, but I don't know. I mean, so how much he's been isolated, I think he can believe it. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't go as far as a cult. I don't think that there's a single... I think there's some people who do genuinely try to help Chris out. But I don't think that there's anyone who genuinely believes in the dimensional merge except him. There's a lot of people that are trying <laughs> to help him out in bad ways. Mm-hmm. Like, they just keep enabling him. He, like, lives in an echo chamber. Yeah, well, I think the people who enable him are people who, uh, are fucking with him. Like, they're not trying to help him. They think it's funny. I mean, I don't know if anybody's that... If there's the, are those people? But I think there's a lot of people that are like, no, we should just leave him be, you know, and tell yeah. him he's right instead of correcting him. Um, yeah, I mean, if anyone doing that thinks that they're helping him, um, they are very foolish. Well, I mean, to be fair here, Christian's at that unfortunate fact of he can now never get a job. Yeah, probably not. 
It but, is impossible. You but he cannot could, tell me that you believe that this man. He could make work. money. Is the thing. Though. Oh, he can make money. I'm talking about like get a regular job. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, there's definitely something somewhat marketable about Chris. If he actually made something, if he would actually do Sonic Two, he could probably get some big YouTubers in on his shtick. Actually, he could probably get PewDiePie to work with him because PewDiePie knows about Chris now. He could probably get. What'd you say? That's crazy. Yeah. Um. I'm sure that there are tons of YouTubers that if he wanted to, like, make an animation, animated project, they would help him out. Did you hear about how fucking, I heard this on an episode of Sleepy Cast. Do you know Harry Partridge on YouTube and Newgrounds? Yeah. One of the best animators on, on the internet. Like, abs- hands down, one of the best. His stuff looks so incredible. I think him and, like, Vizzy Pop are up there as, like... He loves Christian, though. He loves Christian. And he was, like, trying to work with Chris Chan on something. He contacted him, talking about, like, making... It was, like, either going to be, like, a show or a game. And it was going to be using his art style. And Chris Chan turned him down. Chris Chan thought that he was... He thought he was too good for Harry Partridge. And Harry has, like... Harry has one of the... Like, oh oh my god, that could have been such a good thing for him. Harry has... One of the best oh, 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 styles. I need, you, I need you to back up. What the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> he, for Harry Partridge. Did you, just me, did you just tell me Christian thought he was too good for Harry Partridge? Yeah, he didn't like Harry Partridge's art art style. And Are you fucking kidding me? I will try to find the episode of Sleepy Cast where they talk about that and send it to you. You um, need to. Holy fucking shit. No, Harry Partridge is dope as shit, dude. Harry Partridge has one of the, like, nicest looking animation styles I've ever seen. Oh, I gotta put away. Gotta level some stuff up. Okay, there we go. I have another message, I have another message from the Grey Fox. What's the message? The Grey Fox, Grey Fox requests a meeting. Please, please travel, travel to Orthello's, Orthello's house, house in the Imperial house. City of the Gardens. Okay, we're leaving room pretty close by this time. Shit, I'm gonna throw up everywhere. That's, that's fucking crazy. Harry Partridge is a dope animator. I love oh, Starbarians. Yeah. Starbarians is great. He had that new short that came out uh, a few months ago that was amazing. About the monster hunter. Yeah, it was. And there's no more good monsters left to hunt. I I think, honest to God, there's... A, I don't know what Harry's life is like now. But, I mean, maybe there's even, like, a chance that he would still be willing to work with Chris. Um, because like I said, Chris, if he played his cards right, Chris could get something made. I just don't think, I, I don't think, I think Chris is so up his ass that he, he, he can't do it now. I, oh, I, yeah, no, I don't, I don't necessarily think that, um, he hasn't even, I, he hasn't I don't think, comic. yeah, yeah, no, I don't think he'll do it. I'm just saying if he if he like actually tried to actually became the, the only issue is it would require Chris Chan to become self-aware and I don't think he can do that but Chris Chan I'm sorry I died a little bit <laughs> Chris Chan has the merits to do something great anyways I gotta talk to the Gray Fox oh, okay I'll let you do that where is the Gray Fox oh there he is are you ready for one last great heist? The last heist? This will be a big one. This heist will be th- that will be written and talked about for decades to come. We are going to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. Are you ready for this <laughs> challenge? This sounds like um, fucking national treasure of stealing the Declaration of Independence. He shouldn't be... This guy shouldn't be talking like uh, chills. This guy should be talking like Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage. We're gonna steal one of the Elder Scrolls. I can't do a Nicholas Cage impression at all. I, my, my chills impression is bad already. Um, I mean, you said it, not me. How much is the buyer paying? There is no buyer. This will. This is for glory, not for money. Our names will become legend. I also have a personal need for a particular scroll. As your compensation, I ask you to trust me. If my plan works, you will get a reward worth far more than mere money. Will you do it? Glorious. Where end do we start? 
Capital, I have worked for 11 years planning this heist. Savilla Stone provided the last bit of information I needed. What's the plan? The Elder Scrolls are kept in the Imperial Palace behind the door that cannot be breached. Savilla Stone has revealed a path around this door. You will travel to the Old Way, once used as an escape for the Imperial Emperors. It has been forgotten for centuries. To unseal the entrance, you must sneak into the basement of the palace and activate the Glass of Time, whatever that is. Where is the Wait, actual did you entrance? Just the game? In the Imperial Sewers. Now, here is the key for the gate that section of the sewers. I picked the pocket of Octo himself to get it. What is this old way? My scrying with Sevilla Stone has provided clues, but not details. I know what tools you will need there, but not to not the obstacles themselves. The boots of Spring Heel Jack will allow you to leap into unreachable place. They will also protect you from a long fall. The arrow of extriction extraction is the only way to unlock you're, the you're final door. Those, buddy. Take them both. Is that all you know? Once you find once you are inside the palace itself, you will need to find the reading room. The blind priest will deliver a scroll to you there. How did you manage that? I arranged for the notable Celia Cameron to want to read the particular Elder Scroll. Don't ask, ask how, however, she will be unavoidably detained. This you will take her place. Time, Do not speak to the priests. They are blindfolded and will not realize that it isn't her unless you speak. Should have brought a book. As the guildmaster, I am wave and blood price for anyone to you to kill during the heist. However, I cannot stop the watch from putting a price on your head. I can't remember all of this. I have written it down for you in this book. I've chosen you because you are the best. Good luck. The final quest, Chris. Wow. That's what I just asked. I'm like, D are you close to beating the game? <laughs> no, just the Thieves Guild. The Thieves Guild is like a little side thing. I haven't even started the main quest. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. Okay. Um. Goddamn. Uh, okay. Uh, it's funny because it sounds like you're possessed by chills. We know it's. You want to hear the ultimate like ending of the Thieves Guild storyline? Sure. So after we beat this quest, we get to be the Gray Fox. The Gray Fox retires, and that's like our reward. We become the Gray Fox, and now the entire Thieves Guild is in our control. That sounds dope, but that also sounds like shit. So, when you said that it's like I'm possessed by chills, yes, I will be, after Become the Grey Fox, I will be talking about, uh, talking, like, chills exclusively. <laughs> Damn it. You know, I think, I think I might have to retire, uh, this episode after that. <laughs> I do not have armor on. Got shoes. Oh my god, um... Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I'm not a medical person in any way, you know. Uh huh. But I have no exact clue how autism and stuff works. Okay. I'm talking about Christian. So to be uh, self-aware, okay. I was wondering where you were going with that for a second. To be well, because you know, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I have a few friends that have autism, and they seem perfectly mm -hmm. normal. Yeah. You know? I... I've got, I, I, I do as well. And, um, I just, I just think that there's more than that with Chris Chan, dude. Because I feel like everyone treats him like he, he, I'm not saying that he doesn't know better, because he probably could function at one point. But, like, he's just kind of too far gone to a degree. You know what I mean? Like, he's mm. not going to ever wake up one day and be like, you know... I did this wrong, you know. Yeah, I, 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 think I, I think you're probably right. I think he's, I think he's trapped in his own delusion so far. I, I, cause I don't, I don't think he wants help. You know what I mean? Well, she. I am so sorry. I don't think she wants help. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know what, where you stand on that thing, but, uh, I don't think she wants help. I don't think she would even accept help, you know. 
Um, I don't have a problem with, like, using Chris's preferred pronoun, but, yeah, I, um... I know his fans do, but... Mm -hmm. I don't care if, if Chris wants to... If that's what Chris wants people to refer to um, her as, then, like, I... I, I would... In, you know what? I know that Chris will never watch these. Christine will never watch these. Yeah. But if she does... Because cause I know Christine watches shit with her in it. Uh -huh. But since this doesn't blatantly say her name... Yeah. You know. She won't watch it. But if she does, somehow, some way... I think she should say fuck it and get help. Because it's always nice to get help. If you can, do it, do it, you know? Because yeah. I'm not even just saying mental help. I'm saying help in general on how to be a fucking adult. Yeah, no, there's, uh... Yeah, she's got she's got problems. There's no denying that. Because I feel like what she should be asking for is guidance. It's never too late to ask for guidance, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, because if she is high functioning, she could be able to do it. You know, there's everyone keeps saying that the next arc is the barb the barb being dead arc. You know. Yeah, I I I don't think we're gonna to hear from Chris after that. I just don't I don't think he can function after that. And nobody, I repeat, nobody cares enough. His family seems to not give a shit about him. I don't honestly think cuz here's the thing that we all forget. The world is not this nice of a place. I don't think anybody gives a damn that Chris has autism. They're not going to like the, the government's not going to pay for his house, you know. He's never had to pay for anything and Unfortunately, Barb is getting up there, you know? It, it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. The question is, who's gonna go first, Barb or Chris? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, um, I think Barbara will probably go first. And I don't... I, I don't know. From some, of the, some of the stuff, a lot of people think Chris is having, like, seizures, or he's, like, over-medicating. It's all over. Mm-hmm. I do know this, though. I will know. Uh, we will know when Chris passes. Is that, I know it's dark. But, you know. Oh, yeah, no, it'll be it'll be everywhere. Yeah, I, I... I don't... I don't want to be mean, but that's just an inevitability because he's way... He's not way older than us, but he's old enough where we will probably hear about it, and I don't really think that he's going to... If Barb goes, I don't know what's gonna happen next. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's gonna happen. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if Chris will disappear after that. Um, oh, he will not disappear. I know he won't disappear because they'll that still document him, and I know that there's a few white knights that'll probably have him in their house for a minute. But you know, mm. I just don't think. I think Chris is going to... I, so, can I be real for a minute and dark for a minute? Uh, sure. When you're on your own, it's a very, very sobering life, you know? Mm hmm Because you don't pay bills, the, it'll immediately connect. It's not like... They go, oh, well, we'll give you a second chance. No, some places will not let you, you know, yeah, go no. on, you know? Yeah, I I definitely... And I, think, I think it's worse for a house if they don't... I don't know if they own the house or not, which is the catch, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that's working. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough after that. Maybe there's something, in it, like, inheritance-wise... That's being left for Chris, but it doesn't seem likely. Even if there is, it's not going to be enough because you know he's going to blow it on shit, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I, I really don't know. Are you Black Miyagi? Say what? It just showed up on my Xbox. Black Miyagi's online. That's not you, is it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm, I, who the fuck is Black Miyagi? I don't even know. Um, probably didn't show up in the recording because it normally doesn't show stuff like that in the recording. 
Yeah, I, I think, like I said, I, I think that uh, Chris is... It's a matter of time with Chris unless he changes something. I do agree with you. It's probably too late for him to get a job now. Um, I don't... However... It's not too late for him to continue to make money. People will always fund his ass. You know yeah. what I mean? I think that he um, could make a fair amount of money. Because he has yeah. a certain level of notoriety. Um, I think he could do okay for himself, but he would have to... He'd have to come to understand some things, like... And the fact that... Like, that's why I brought up Harry Hemden... Like, saying no to a Harry Partridge game. He thinks he knows better than everyone, and that is really gonna hurt him. Um... Yeah. It has already hurt him, and it will continue to hurt him. Um, and he... What was it? Um, what was I about to say? He constantly criticizes fan art of his stuff, that it looks he better than about. anything. Yeah, um, that looks better than anything he's ever made. He is very stubborn, and he is not in the place to be stubborn. He... He's the kind of person who makes demands when he is not in the position to do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I think that we're gonna probably live to see the fall of Chris Chan. If it hasn't already happened. I would love to see this be a Cinderella story of where I was wrong the whole time and, you know, somebody finally gets through to him, but I don't think that'll ever happen. I would love it if this, and I don't think that this is the case, but I'd love it if he was just fucking with us the whole time because that would be less depressing. That'd be a ma Do you understand that um, if that happens, I will admit the moon landing was fake? <laughs> that um that would mean that Chris Chan was one of the best performers of our lifetime. Exactly. Boy needs an Oscar. <laughs> not um. not only that, but like you know what? That, not only that, it's just that that means there is legitimate like work put into that. That is not just. That is like the world's best production team. You know. Oh, that's the who attacked me. For, like, Barb and, you know, uh, Billiam. So, I forgot his dad's name. Uh, Bob. Bob, yeah. Yeah, the parents make, make it a lot, like, the parents make, like, any possibility you thought that had, the parents make it, like, impossible for it to be true that he was just fucking with people. They make it hard, but you could probably fucking... You can do shit, you know, like... There's also like, just, like, some of the people that are involved in Chris Chan's story uh, pressed criminal charges against him. Yeah, like, that it's... would have to be... You know what? I can't remember her name. That would have to be, like, the Bojack... The one uh, actress chick from Bojack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Margot Martindale. Yeah, it would have to be that. It would have to be that level. <laughs> Yeah, where, where, like, even though it is a performance, Chris is still actually doing horrible things to people. Yeah. <laughs> so even if it is a performance, Chris would still be a bad person. Yeah. I, I, you know, like, I think that, um, the only thing I can say is even though I do say stuff like Chris is a bad person, I would still like to see him come out of this just because I think, I do truly think that his life is sad. Um, and I don't think... It, I, I don't I don't think that everything that's happened to him is his fault I think a, most of it is but I don't think everything that's happened to him is his fault you know I feel like realistically it's not as much of his fault as people say he put himself out on the internet and I feel like this is I feel like the thing that's funny about this is this yeah, is exactly why I don't like to talk shit openly about people on the internet it kind of feels shit, that shit, way. Shit, 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 shit. You know, I do not want to die here. Yeah, you do. Everybody wants to die here. It's a cool wait. place to die. Okay, I'm going to wait for an hour, because then I'll get health back. <laughs> um, 
That's kind of cool. I don't think I can carry that though. I'll try. Okay, I can carry it. For how long though? Um, how far back did that send me? Where am I? <sighs> That's the question, Michael. Where are we in the universe? <laughs> um, now back to Christian. Uh, what were we just saying about him? I was just saying he put himself out on the internet, and realistically, I feel like people just shat on him for no real reason at first. He you know didn't, what I mean? I don't think he deserved all of the shit that he got, that's for sure. Um, well, I mean, he just he was just a guy that made a shitty... a, a shitty comic, you uh -huh. know? That doesn't deserve to be shat on, you know? That's... That's more than most of us could say we've done. But a lot of the people who fuck with Chris Chan fucked with him because they thought the comic was funny. Why not just let him do his thing? God damn it. Yeah, exactly. God fucking damn it. I'm so fucking tired of this. this I mean, guy... realistically, I could have been made fun of for our stupid YouTube thing I did. So. Oh, I could have. I could have been made fun of for what I did as well. Easily. I mean, the difference is me and you wouldn't have freak out, freaked out about it. I don't know how I would have. I just would have deleted it. I, I wouldn't have. I would have never made it to Chris Chan levels, but I don't know how I would have handled it. To be honest, I would have. I would have just deleted it and acted it. like it never happened. I wonder if I can do this. I don't think so. Enchanted though, so it'll do like a little bit of shit before I go switch to the bow and arrow. I remember uh, when we were filming, we had these older teenage guys kind of come up to us and ask what we're doing. Mm hmm. Were they assholes, they're like, or...? Yeah, they're like, why? And I'm like, because we're doing it for YouTube, and they're like, why? And I'm like, well... It's funny because... They sound told like... told me a similar story. They sound like fucking three-year-olds that just have to ask why to everything, but they do it because they're three. No, they're like these, like, they're like 18 or whatever. It's, it's... They, like, literally stopped what they were doing. You know, they were driving by the park. You know that... Have you seen episode two? Um, it's been a long time since I've watched the show, but I did watch it when it was coming out. But that was like yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah, episode 2, uh, 10 years ago exactly. Um, episode 2, uh, these guys literally got out of their car and came up to a bunch of teenagers and asked us why we were doing this. Yeah, they're fucking losers. And I, I, I never took it as a... Like, anytime I got made fun of, I feel like my mind was... You took your time to fucking literally bother teenagers. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of Chris Chan's trolls, to be fair, were kids that did eventually grow up, but... Um, did they? Probably, I guess we don't really know for sure, but I mean... They got older and they weren't kids anymore. Maybe they got more mature. Um, Maybe. I would say, like, any of the people who fucked spent time fucking with Chris, as long as they weren't, like adults or if they like are aren't as or if they grew up and they're not proud of it anymore then that's then i wouldn't like put them in this i wouldn't call them like i don't know it i, I think that they should nope. i think they should probably apologize for the shit they did and i think it's pathetic you know that they did it but, but a lot of them are fucking kids you want to know what the most sobering moment is in chris chan's life hmm it's a moment that would make me think forever, right? It's mm -hmm. the most humbling moment that went over his head, and it's in the Casey call of where, I don't know, I'm just going to say Casey's dad, the character, asked him, who would want to be you? <laughs> yeah. That was, like, the most sobering moment in my life. <laughs> if anybody ever asked me that, I think I would have to reevaluate everything. <laughs> <laughs> I know that the Casey call I know a lot of people don't think it's as funny as I do I don't even think it's that funny I just think it's a moment the that tells you how the... fucking delusional Christian is uh -huh. no the Casey's father call if that's the one we're talking about specifically is my, yeah. fa is my favorite call I, I, uh, yeah you told me this and it's because it tells you everything you need to know about Chris in a bridge time. You can listen to that before you listen to anything else. 
Um, like, I love how he compares his uh, moving a doghouse to 9/11. Yeah, he does. Uh, he, I, I love and like the thing. That, the thing that there's like so there's several things that are funny about it, and one of them is just that the ca- the troll character of Casey's father is a funny character. Okay, you know what's really, really, really funny about the the troll character of Casey's father? If what? I'm gonna shit on something, I'll shit on him. You can tell he's one of those guys that's looking for approval because he repeats a joke like, "Did you hear that?" Hoo hoo moments. Oh yeah, no, he. I, I think he's just as much as a loser as all the other trolls. However, he start at first. I mean, he played like, it. Up, he played it pretty well. Not gonna before, lie to you. Yeah, yeah. The first hour of that is all reasonable stuff that he says. Like, it's calling him out on shit like, um, you know, you don't have a job, you still live with your parents, you're almost 30, you went to college and did nothing with your degree, you're, um, you you're, you're not taking care of yourself, um, you made fun of 9-11, you did this, 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 and this. And then the second half, it just starts to get fucking ridiculous. He's like, oh, you can't run 10 miles, t- you can't run 10 miles in 30 minutes, What? Oh, you you go to a restaurant? Pfft, I bet you don't even tip. It's just like he he really starts to stretch it out. He makes it like oh, uh, he like really. But no, I he he starts having the expectations. He goes from ha- having like the ex- expectations of Chris like being like he's a functioning human to he needs to be a superhuman. Yeah. I think that's the only part that makes the Liquid Chris saga kind of worth it for me. Mm-hmm. I love that call, but it's like, I, that isn't to say, like, the guy who does Casey's father, it's not to say that he isn't a douche, too, because he was. I, for the most part, funny. I, for the most part, do not like the Casey's trolls. Father. It'd be funny if Casey's father was just Liquid Chris. <laughs> I do not like um, the trolls, though. Um, Alex made a funny com- um, it's either Alex or Alec he made a funny comic as per Chew, that was enjoyable He his phone calls are the most boring shit I've ever heard um, so is, is Alex is Alex even really a person like, he's not a person right um, it could be a persona I don't know yeah I thought it was a persona so, I actually feel like um, what nothing go ahead one of my favorite phone calls is him actually talking to him about how he could franchise Sonic you. Uh, I don't remember. It's it's a phone call where he's like, yo, so here's what you should do is... It's one of those moments where Chris Chan is, like, defiant. But he wants to make money. So he's like, yo, you have to get rid of the, the the Nintendo stuff and the Sonic stuff, you know. Yeah, he does talk about like, that. And he's like, no. And re- and realistically, you know, uh, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I, I read a lot of fan fictions back in the day. And 90% of them do not need to be Sonic or Pokemon related. You know what I mean? They could, they, they could oh, be decent stories without that. I am sorry. No, you're good. I'm assuming you died. No, I'm just being attacked by something, and I don't like... I don't like getting into fights right now, because I just want to get through this. What the fuck? Where'd that guy... What the, that, that's a fucking wolf. Where the fuck did that come from? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, he managed to figure that out. God damn it, now there's two fucking things attacking me. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck off! You remind me of ye old YouTube with the first few Let's Players. You know what I mean? I can't even fucking hit anything. Fuck off. Jesus Christ. Stupid fucking wolf. Okay, one more arrow and that wolf's dead probably. Nope, it's gonna take another one. At least the CPUs are really fucking stupid. Okay, the wolf's dead. And this guy still can't figure out what to do. Oh wow, how the hell did he hit me from there? How the fuck is he hitting me from there? He's hitting the wall! There 
Uh, keep keep Holy talking cool. about Christian. Uh, oh fuck you! He figured the bridge out. He figured out how to use it. I'm fucked. <laughs> I uh, I feel like the biggest thing about Christian and trolls is that none of them are people that are like. I feel like none of them are people that I could actually sit there and be like, you you had a life. <laughs> Liquid Chris, I get, I understand the appeal of. I don't really like Liquid Chris that much either. His impression was not bad though. Um, uh, then uh, Casey's father. There's one other that I like, and his is a way way, way more obscure one. It's Sir Jack Tito. <laughs> I find the fact that someone roleplayed a Surf Shack Tito funny. I don't think anything he said as Surf Shack Tito was funny though. I just thought it was. I, I just. I thought it was really funny when Chris Chan addressed him angrily in a video. It was like, Tito, you stay away from Heather, you son of a bitch. Tito, you stay away from Heather, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I love how. I, I, did he think it was the cartoon character Tito? I think that he didn't understand the reference, and he thought it was just a person named Tito. That that would be my guess, or he was, or he was aware that it was someone being an asshole, but he didn't know how else to refer to him other than his online persona, which was Surf Shack Tito. I've started. I, I mean, that's what inspired. I don't know if you even know about this, but I started like me and Zach have a running joke where Tito will interrupt the podcast we're recording and. Talk instead of yeah, me. Yeah, I know that. I was, I was in one of those. I think. Hey, little cuz. Oh no, 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 no! Later, get out of here. We'll what go you, to you up? after. No, no, what's Tito, happened? get out. Mike, get what? Mike. Uh, Where'd you go? What you... What'd you do with Mike? Please. Uh, Michael's unconscious. Yeah, and um, and that definitely came from the Christian things, but because I, th I thought it was really funny, I just don't. I I, st I don't think the troll was funny. I think the idea was really funny though. So in role playing, it's no Surf Shack. Idea. It's such a random character. Yeah, yeah. Um, he he messed up Chris Chan's PlayStation info. He's probably one of the trolls that claimed afterwards that he was helping Chris. I think those are the worst ones. Because Alec, I, I, the one thing I can say about Alec. Even though I don't care for him, his one Asper Chew is entertaining, and two, he doesn't try to pull bullshit where he says, Oh, I was trying to help Chris. To be fair, I haven't heard a lot of the trolls say that they were trying to help Chris, but there are some. I think even maybe Casey tried to claim that at one point. Um, wasn't. Wasn't the guy that made Asper's too? Didn't he like say like uh, like didn't he didn't he try to make Chris aware? He he what um what he said he made like a post on Kiwi Farms I think it's called, where he talked about like what he's been up to ever since then. He said like someone asked what he thought about Chris, like it, like um, his thoughts on Chris today, and he said like. He started talking about a couple of things, but one of the things he says is I never thought that I was I never like acted like and never thought that I was like helping Chris. I I did it because I thought it was funny. Okay. Which is very clear from Reed and Asper too. Yeah, I just thought he was trying to show the Christian that uh he can't make a profit off of this and his writing is shit. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually funny. Um, I don't know if I can. I'll tell you this off record, but um, it's it's funny because I don't think Christian would have been as popular as he was if he didn't just not if he just didn't respond. You know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I agree. Um... I think that there came a point where he should have actually learned his lesson and stopped. Um, and I think he could be doing better now if that were the case. Well, I mean, he thinks he's a god, so I mean... <laughs> it definitely got worse. definitely got worse. No, like, if you ever... 
Ch- check out a channel called Gibby, G-I-B-I, I think. Mm. I know what he posts on Twitter. I'm one of the people that's allowed to look at his Twitter. Yeah, uh, check out Gibby. And Oh, you're one <laughs> of the people that's allowed? Okay. Well, now that you said that online, I don't... Like I said, thank God he doesn't watch this or you wouldn't. But he, he Christian, I think that that's funny is everyone doesn't understand this. He actually... Well, one, he's not Chris Chan right now, so that does, that's not important. Or is he? Did, he? did he go back to being Chris Chan? No, I don't know. What he, I don't know what he's doing. What the fuck? Well, um, do you, do you know what's going on with Chris right now, or no? The dimensional merge. Oh no! Because okay. I know um, I know about that, but um, but that's been that's been ongoing. Child. That's been ongoing. My, my poor case. child. There is no Chris Chan anymore, Michael. Well, it's Chris, Chris Chan's in. Chris Chan is in Quickville, trying to go back in time. To prevent coronavirus, so we could go to a uh, My oh. Little Pony convention. So Sonic Chu is in his body right now. Sonic Chu. Oh, so Chris Chan is Sonic Chu right now. Yeah. He's a. He. He's a, apparently Sonic Chu right now, and uh, until Chris Chan finds the cure for coronavirus. Oh, well, good for him. And so Christian goes back in time and erases 2020. Okay, so can I be can I be mean for a minute? Can I can I be mean and bring up a fact, right? Uh, sure. If the dimensional merge is a real thing, and it's not. Okay, I I, 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 I was questioning it before you said it wasn't, but if the dimensional merge is a real thing and he erases 2020, I think I'd become a supervillain. A uh, supervillain in Chris Chan's world. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? That'd be my, that'd be my supervillain origin right there. It, it, the thing that bothers me is that the dimensional merge isn't real, right? Mm-hmm. But if it was, it would be the most selfish thing to do right now. <laughs> you know. No, I mean, let's be real here. If he erased 2020, do you understand? Like, if he erased 2020 and I was aware of it, right? Yeah. I would become a goddamn supervillain. Yeah, you'd have to avenge Milo if that were the case, right? Exactly. I would fucking be the. the I would be the anti Christian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was wondering where you were getting at with that when you were saying that villain. I was just waiting. I went silent because I was waiting for some sort of explanation. No, but I get it now. I get it now. Because, like, because he's just like, don't worry, Corona will be over. And I'm like, there is so much bigger than Corona. I would be the anti-Christian. I would. I would be the. The, the Satan to his God. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying that like as a way that is mean. I'm saying that because I would lose so much, <laughs> you know. Like I know that my mental state isn't the greatest in 2020, but I have. I have a child and. I don't know if I would have... I mean, I would definitely have him. It's inevitable, you know? Mm-hmm. But I don't know exactly... It wouldn't be the same, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to go back and, like, undo something is probably... It's something that I wouldn't want to do, ever. Because uh, I wouldn't what? know... Just like the if someone says, oh, if you have the ability to go back in the past and change something big in history... I would just be afraid of creating something worse in the process. Yeah, yeah. And I, like, you know, like, obviously that's easy to say now if I was actually given the choice to, like, hey, there's not going to be a holocaust if you just say, if you just snap your fingers. Like, obviously that's a very tempting thing to change. I know that that sounds selfish, you know what I mean? Because it's, you know, I, I have a kid, so my life is important, but... There's so much that happened in this year that I would not change. I know that that's from a selfish perspective. There's a lot of stuff that 
I, I feel like the problem is that it's out of... I, I guess it's I'm a realistic person. All this shit is out of my hands. If I had the power to do it, the world would be a different place. Let's mm. be real here. I would just be too afraid to, like, have control over something like that. Because it's just, like, what if... What what if it creates something much, much worse? Now, and I'm not talking exactly. about, like... I know I, I know I used the Holocaust as an example. I'm not talking about the Holocaust specifically. I'm just talking about some horrific event. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if I was put in the position, I, I might... I, I'm saying that right now. I might actually cave in if I was put in that position. Because, like, holy shit, how can you not want to prevent something like that um no i mean definitely but um and the same and you could say the same about covid but it's just like what happens if this doesn't happen i don't know it's... Well, i feel like the thing that's the thing that's kind of funny is as a dark dark thought covid was actually inevitable not inevitable well it was inevitable it was inevitable it was preventable and we said fuck it uh-huh COVID's a little different because it's such a recent thing that you know, we don't truly know how it's going to affect the world in the long run yet. I mean, we know we've seen a lot of its effect already, but... It's going to affect the next generation, truly. The people that are in school now are going to be heavily affected. Yeah. Um, there will be a constant paranoia. It is, it's, it's a thing that's going to affect us, and unfortunately, I hate to say this, but, like, it's... So, how much do you know about, like, uh... How much do you know about World of Warcraft? Have you heard about that? No, oh, World of Warcraft. I know a fair amount about it. It's a very popular game. You've heard about the World of Warcraft pandemic that happened? Uh... Not, not really. What is that? Okay, so there was a pandemic in World of Warcraft. Oh, um, fuck off. <laughs> okay, alright, well. <laughs> Can't even heal myself right now. But no, there was a pandemic in World of Warcraft because I, uh, there was a, uh, fuck, how do you say it? There was a, uh, oh, God, I don't know what to call it. There was a thing that an enemy could do to you, a status ailment, right? Yeah. That was contagious. And it spread, and it spread, and it spread, and, uh, it... The game developers couldn't even truly stop it for a minute, you know? Uh-huh. Damn. So. You know. A lot of doctors and scientists looked at this and said, Yo, we should probably look at look at this and other diseases and how we can stop it from spreading. And everyone was like, no, fuck that. That's not real. Whatever. Fuck it. So, I mean, in the end, realistically, I know that this is going to sound dark, but shit... It's always, a, like, shit is always preventable. It's just, are we going to actually take the precautions all the way through? You know what I mean? mean? Yeah, I, I know. I hear you. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, 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 like, so you said, like, so this was just, like, when you're talking about the World of Warcraft thing, that's just, like, it was, like, a virus in the game or something. It was a status element that works the same way as most pandemics do. Got it. And this was something that was put in the game by accident, or is this was something that like was like hacked into the game, or it was oh. put in the game by accident because they didn't I think it would it. ever happen. Like they didn't think it was a big of a deal as it was because it was a status ailment. Oh, uh -huh. you know. Got it. But since it spread like an actual disease, you know, you know, it was it was really bad. You know, even if it, it really was bad for new people because you could get it because it spread through. Play Wait, hold on. Say that last part again. It spread through player to player. Uh huh. So, like, if my character had it and me and you were hanging out, your character would get it. So. Got it. That's interesting. <laughs> I mean, that might even be kind of, like, a, an interesting thing to th just throw into the game normally, but... It would be, uh, but, you know, it was enough. <laughs> a lot of people hated it. But, yeah, um, just a I... War, War of Warcraft uh, patch where you just have to stay in your house all day and social distance. <laughs> I, I, I mean, once again, I get it. I understand it's hard to social distance, and I get that... 
Uh, I'm sorry that we're talking about this shit. No, that's cool, man. I get, I get that a lot of people don't take this seriously because I've heard a lot of people go, oh, these political people are fine. Yeah, they have medical people. It's th They have people. That's their job to take care of them. You know, they. not everybody has that. And I know that everyone's like, oh, you'll recover. It has a high recovery rate. Nothing's guaranteed in life. I know that that's me being a pessimist, but nothing's guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Don't don't fuck with it. You know, I'm not trying to scare you. You know. No, no, you're good, man. And I'm not trying to say that we should all sit here and you know. Is this where? Be scared of it. You know. Oh fuck! 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 Um. Actually, uh, I've heard. I don't know if this is true or not. So right now we could be spreading some huge ass misinformation. But I heard that they're working on some vaccines that are looking promising, but, you know. That's nice. I think I'm where I started off in the game right now. What the fuck? Is this the... Did you die? I don't... No, 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 no. I just think I'm back at the location the tutorial was in, but I could be wrong. Um... Ugh. Right now I'm just, like, dead. No, 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 no. It's No, it's okay, man. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, focusing right now because I'm at... Because I don't even have my bow and arrow anymore, and I don't have a weapon that's good for my character to use right now. Um, How did you did you lose your bow and arrow, or what happened? It, I, it, I, I was weapons. I was on my high horse. No weapons break after a while in this game. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, it's it. it I, I like it too, just because it does kind of add something to the game. It does add like you have to be like a little careful. You need to be prepared. It adds a nice little challenge. This is definitely where the game starts off. Oh, that's cool. We're back. We're back, baby. Um, We're back at the beginning. Um, I just think that's cool that they incorporate the tutorial map, but now, like, where before it was, like, really easy to get through, now it's like there's fucking enemies everywhere, and it's really chaotic. And this isn't even part of the main storyline. This is, like, a side quest where they send you back here. That's, that's, I mean, it's like, the Thieves Guild is a little bit more than a side quest, but that's still pretty, that's still a pretty fun thing that they did. Right now I'm just like Perfect. making, I was fighting enemies so slowly with my bow and arrow and now it's like gone and now there's just like a thousand skeletons and rats everywhere so I'm just making a run for it. Which is another thing my character is good for. This is the kind of thing my character is built for so probably going to be fun. Running, sneaking. There's more skeletons, more skeletons, just run for it. Skeletons. Now if I hit a dead end. You uh, did? Yeah, and I just hit a dead end. <laughs> How do I activate the gate? This is bullshit. Ah, uh, fuck me. Okay, right now there's only two skeletons chasing me, so I lost all the other ones, so that's pretty good. Um, How the fuck do I get up there? Okay, because I see... I think I see what I need to push. But I can't get up there. <laughs> fucking stop! Oh, why is the because they're fucking angry. Why are they angry? They're dead. Because they're dead. Can yeah, I get up there? Out. Can I get up there from here? Hi, skeleton boys. I mean, Fuck. if I was dead, I'd be perfectly fine, because I'd be dead. They're just pissed off that I get to be alive and they have to be fucking bones. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday.